Hello, it's Daryl again, and I am doing another vlog. I just had my um, structural resonance interview. Um, doing the course structural resonance on the Destiny forum, and I just had a little chat uh, the other day, and uh, it was very, very interesting. So, um, working on uh, primary point of self-compromise. Now this has been a recurring pattern for me for many, many years, ever since I was a child actually. Um, the point of self-compromise is living for others, doing others, doing others, doing things for others um, at the expense of uh, compromising, compromising myself. Uh, in my mother's case, um, you know, uh, my father had left and it was up to me, I, w I became the man of the house at the grand old age of seven years old. And uh, to help out my mother, I would, you know, uh, do these, do anything just to make her life stable. And I carried that on through all my relationships with women and to uh, just, you know, relationships I've ha I have in general. Um, with that being such a large part of my upbringing, it's and, and coupled with the whole uh, Christian <laughs> going to church every day thing, uh, the whole idea of um, service and doing things for others, sacrifice, um, uh, these things have a, uh, a way of warping and distorting your self-image to an extent that you don't see that you're harming yourself you just you think you're helping others that's the most important thing I mean um, the whole context within the sacrifice of Jesus for instance I mean that's that's something that was so insidious because uh, there is a point within uh, doing things for others, uh, doing things for the best of all, that is valid. But the, at the whole point of killing yourself in order to do it um, doesn't really solve the problem because the problem exists after you've, you know, destroyed yourself. We really haven't done anything. I mean, the dimensions of compromise and self-compromise and sacrifice they don't really add up to something that benefits everyone if you're doing it, if you're destroying yourself in the process. If you do it while, you know, good intentions aren't enough kind of thing, you know. So, uh, I've been looking at how to, um, not so much become more selfish and just look after me and screw everybody else. I mean, uh, it's a challenge because I've never really taken myself into consideration where I put myself first. And when I do, it always seems to be within a reaction of, you know, giving too much of myself, but then I go to the opposite end and just withdraw and uh, sulk in a corner somewhere. So uh, it'll be very interesting for me to uh, chart my process at this point in uh, my life where I can be more supportive of myself without having to compromise myself and be supportive of other people without compromising myself. And uh, it'll prevent a lot of needless uh, suffering on my part and the part of the other people I thought I was helping. Right, okay, so that's it for now. Talk to you later. Bye.